Come on, Alex. Let's see what you got. Find an opening and hit me with your best shot. Take your best fucking shot. No, I'm serious. I'm not kidding. Take it. That sounded like an abortion happened with my ears. <laughs> I don't mean to speak too low of the subject, but my ears are still hurting. Hi there! You guys want to sing with me? Great, okay, I'll go first. <laughs> yeah, Alex is just like, what? What? Oh, my ears! Huh? Ah. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was funny, but... Uh. I travel from my village to Moribia once a month to do some shopping. Have you come here to shop too? Uh, actually, no. Well, if you have money with you, be careful. There's some seedy types around here, like flying cat things. <laughs> That's why I recommend Moribian Traveler... Moribian Express Traveler Jack. Don't leave Moribia without him! You fucking bitch! We're playing the four heroes, but we don't have a galleon. Would you play the part of galleon for us? No! Everybody else wants to actually get with Althena. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Alex only plays as Dragon Master Dime. Yeah. Take that. <laughs> Look, it's Joker. I'm Dragon Master Dime! Taste the cold steel with my bay! Oh, hey, did your mom ever teach you not to run in with sharp objects? Well, they told me to carry the scissors the other way. <laughs> <laughs> You'll put your eye out, kid. <laughs> You'll poke your eye out. <laughs> there you are, foul monster. I, the mighty hell Mel, will punch your lights out. Ouch! What are you doing? I'm not a monster, but I'm going to bite your little... Yeah, Don't be silly, I mean... Nal. He's just a cute little boy. Oh yeah, nothing cuter than a fish-shaped bruise on your tummy. I don't know, I think we should go play Galleon. Well, well, well. Go play Galleon and sit in the corner just like... I hate my life. I hate your life too, dude. I wish Althena would touch me. Why does nobody like me? <laughs> Why is Dime the only one who talks to me? This Welcome, guy. Traveler. You've come to the right shop. What can I do for you today? Oh. I you, do need. Wait, did, did, you I need buy, did you already buy? Did you already buy off screen? I did, but something happens that I kind of need this stuff. Oh, that's right. I think I know what you're talking about. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking. Nothing happens. I like you're on okay. drugs. That little girl is like somebody play galleon. Galleon. Oh, galleon. We need a galleon. This galleon himself goes. I'll play galleon. <laughs> Somebody's no. talking to me! Somebody no. wants to play me! No, no, we're good. <laughs> you go away, sir. But I'm <laughs> he legitimate. Kinda... <laughs> He's so fucking attention starved, he goes around town looking for kids and playing the four heroes and plays himself. <laughs> I know we're not voicing the shopkeepers, but whatever. It's shopkeepers. Seriously. Slap shopkeepers. There you go. There's no reason at all I am armoring Alex. Okay, Not trust at all. me. Trust no. me. He's he's good. I'm not doing it for any reason. Yeah, this is all right, guys. Al you just want to be ready for the next dungeon, right? I do. All right. You sure you don't want to play Galleon? You good? No. You good? Okay. No. I'm I'm a real man. Who who would have played Galleon? In, in Berg. Oh god, Ramus. No. Ramus would have been hell melt. Berg. Galleon would have been like a stuffed animal that sat in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Galleon, cast spells on us! <laughs> Just that's, that's over, right, over top Null as he's sleeping because Null's Althena. It's <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> Heard of Bane? My brother's studying magic there. I want him to come back home. He'll have to study magic too to become a Dragon Master, Alex. No, probably not. Moribia attracts traders from all over the world. They flock here to buy and sell their wares, ranging from common to extremely rare. Is that right? Alex, I wonder if we can find a nice present for your parents. What, a bottle of booze? <laughs> 
<laughs> As Nald's just like, don't kid yourself, Luna. They're probably going to be gone when we get back. <laughs> well, maybe your dad. Your mom's going to be in the backyard. Planning Alex 5. <laughs> or just buried below it. Oh, <laughs> Warehouses in Maribia are filled with valuables, which are bought and sold by the merchants. Before Master Mel took over the town, we were the constant target of thieves and pirates. That's good to know. Yeah. It is good to know. Master Mel used to wield a huge axe with only one hand. It was very impressive, to say the least. Was it? They say he was absolutely fearless in a field of battle. Thanks, Doctor Strange. Blonde Doctor Strange. And he was useless in the field of love. <laughs> Whatever, he was the only one married, he's above Galleon. That's true. <laughs> Shit, a six-year-old romance is fucking above Galleon. And even Lamia must have gotten married. Yeah, she was, she had to have, yeah. He, well, fuck, a six-year-old's version of love is above Galleon at this point. <laughs> fucking poor Galleon. Does nobody love me? Please, somebody pay attention to me. <laughs> I need somebody to love. White, red, blue, black, these are the four dragons, legendary pre protectors of goddess Althena. But a legend is all I believe it to be. A fairy tale made up to palcate the masses. It's not make-believe. We met with the white dragon on Han Mill Isle. Oh, really? Did you say hi to the Tooth Fair while you were there? Man, i kill myself. In fact, we did say hi to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. If... You mean, mean you need to know? Well, we did say hi to Tooth Fairy while she was fucking your dad. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> I want to see a dragon, but my mom and dad say there aren't any. They're wrong, aren't they? I know in my heart that dragons are real. Yeah, they do exist. No, we're gonna crush her. No, hopes. no, they do exist. That's right. Okay. Really? Are you sure? There's one behind me. <laughs> Of course! We met with Quark the White Dragon. There's one behind me! I knew it! Yay! <laughs> Will you take me to meet Quark someday, pretty please? As soon as you can fight. I mean, that'll that's... be in five years. That's kind of weird to ask just random people barging into your house if you take them somewhere. Uh, not really. This is a JRPG. Yeah, it's true. Normal. My little girl keeps rambling on about wanting to see a dragon and asking random strangers to take her to see one. I, I tell her that they don't exist, but what if they do? It's too terrible to even think about. Are you, like, getting over a Santa complex or something? Did he, like, deliver you a shitty gift or something? You just haven't really gotten over it yet? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. What? There's only two beds in this house. Yeah? Two beds! <laughs> yeah. The white... And, like, five dressers worth of clothes, but only two dressers. You're right. Two beds. The mom and the dad share one, even though it's a size single. <laughs> Maybe he just stands out here all night. <laughs> just stares at his wife while she's sleeping. And his daughter. <laughs> <sighs> Dude, look breathing. at their nice picture of a boat. Dude, we all need a nice picture of a boat, Tom. Alex is just mesmerized by it. Um, you know that's a schooner. <laughs> you dumb bastard. It's not a schooner, it's a sailboat. Schooner is a sailboat, stupid, stupid head. You know what? There is no Easter Bunny! Over there, that's just a guy in a suit! Where, we're, we're gonna bust into everybody's house. Is this driving you nuts yet? No, not yet. You're from the village of Berg. You know I have a daughter in Berg. When you go back there, could you tell her that I miss her? I haven't heard from her from the longest time. Yeah, isn't she that one that ended up in a ditch? <laughs> we know that woman. She said not to worry and that she's doing fine, I, I think. Yeah, I think we talked to her. Oh, you know her. I'm so glad she's doing all right. I'm indebted to Althena for answering my prayers. Yeah, you're welcome. Jessica is the only child of Mel. Her mother died when Jess was very young, or so I heard. Isn't that fucking convenient? It's always convenient, so, so they don't have to make another sprite. Wow. Wow. Mel dotes on his daughter, and she loves him too. They really do have a very special relationship. Very special. How special are we talking about? 
Jessica's quite a tomboy. Her mother was so mild-mannered, but I guess her father's side won out. She's so much like he was back in the early days, raping and pillaging and killing children. He was a pirate after all. That sounds terrible. Well, what do you think pirates did for a living? Hey, they had dressers to make a bedroom. I know, right? Jesus. Who needs walls in Moravia? They just have dressers everywhere for all their fucking clothes. It works. One of Moravia's most wonderful conveniences is its sewer system. Why would I care about I'll that? I'll take indoors over an outhouse any day, you know? You know? What's an indoor? You know? What is... What... What are you talking about? <laughs> but I hear rumors that the waste has attracted vile creatures. Do you think it's true? Wait, wait. You don't use outhouses here? How do you take a shit? You mean they uh, don't just use the hole? Wait, you don't have to cross the streams on the chamber pot? Bert, no, Bert <laughs> just has what is known as the outhouse the hole. No. <laughs> it's a public hole where everyone just openly <laughs> is walk by. Good morning, just see for a piss. <laughs> that is so fucking what if gross. What somebody has like diarrhea? <laughs> well, then the hole's occupied for a little while. Then that guy's getting pissed on. It sounds like <laughs> make room for the hole. <laughs> Ew! This grand structure is the residence of Master Mel. He deserves only the finest. Mel has an open door policy, so the citizens of Moravia may come and go as they oh, please. Oh God! Why don't you come inside and take a look? I guarantee you'll be impressed. If this was the real world, yeah, this would be filled with with crackheads. I know, right? In a place that people. we were told you'll get mugged, you will. <laughs> Get your clothes and your money taken if you fall asleep on the street. Luna was given a prostitute job. Yes, yeah, several people have told us horrible things <laughs> about this place. And yet we got a den where crackheads can just hang out all day. Yeah, the governor says that you can just come into his house. <laughs> I wonder I wonder if Rick Schneider's just open with uh fun people. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I wonder if Mel is inside. Well, oh, I, I, I want to so. make fun of myself when I talk as Luna because it's like, just said that it's Mel's house. And she's like, I wonder if Mel's inside. I hope so, Luna. You alright, Luna? I wonder if Blue's the new blonde. Oh, God. I hope not. I've been watching her for these years. I didn't think she was getting stupid. Right? Yeah, she's just sitting there like. <laughs> You're drunk. <laughs> Welcome to the entrance hall of Master Mel's Mansion. Mel is the grand ruler of Moravia. Really? Dude, there was a guy right out front that just told us this. Oh no, you should play Luffy too, where there was a chancellor and a king's throne. The king was sitting on the throne, and the guy said. That it's the king! Oh uh, yeah, you think? <laughs> that was his line of dialogue. That's the king over there! This is the mansion of Master Mel. Mel is friendly, but don't be rude. He finds rudeness intolerable. I heard this like 19 times. Before if, coming in here! How, how does he find it intolerable if he has an open door policy? Exactly! This hallway should be filled with crackheads shaking right about now. Seriously! I'm gonna tell the governor to, uh, make lots of attacks on crack buying. <laughs> we need more more crack dispensers. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to the governor about, uh, up in the, uh, Disability Act. <laughs> maybe I've really gotta shave my balls. Maybe this guy's a crackhead. Mel's a great boss and a great guy, but he hasn't always been that way. He was a fearless pirate and a fearsome warrior known only as El Mel. Hard to believe, isn't it? I've never met the guy before, but I heard he's a nice guy with rules. Yeah, like, 50 people have already told us this. Look at her, she's just kind of like, huh. Mel's wife was daughter of an aristocrat who lived here in Moravia. After a secret romance with Mel, who was still a pirate captain at the time, they tied the knot. It was so romantic. I hope I find my true love someday. I don't give a shit. I know, he totally only had a little bit of scurvy and <laughs> raped only a few people. 
Listen, Mel is such a romantic, he found her in the middle of the night and just had been forced to have Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't even think words were exchanged between the two. She said, oh god, a pirate, and he said, you're mine. And that was about the extent of the relationship. He swooped in <laughs> through the fucking window. <laughs> was already mid-flight with his pants down and just bopped right in. <laughs> Sorry, dude, you okay? <laughs> Steve was trying to drink something I should have been speaking of. <laughs> oh, God. Are you alright? Yeah, give me a minute. You're gonna have to do some talking for now. Yeah, see, clearly Luna wasn't thinking here because <laughs> she's just like, wow, I think all of us do. Oh, God. Alex, your face is all red. Are you feeling okay? Not at all, no. <laughs> See? Steve was just getting prepared for that. <coughs> What's that? We're not having a party. All of this is for Master Mel. Are you serious? His appetite is almost as legendary <laughs> as his strength. In his prime, the Master would have eaten twice as much. Are you serious? Now he's counting his calories at the request of Miss Jessica. Wow. Master Mel just became my favorite of the four heroes. <coughs> What, is he counting them as he goes in his mouth? Alex, do you think Nal could give Mel a run for his money? I mean, Ramus definitely could. Yeah, Ramus, this is a Ramus, like, this is a Ramus quick snack. This is a happy meal for Ramus. <laughs> a fucking ham, a, <laughs> turkey. a turkey, um, let's see stuffing. here, what else? You got stuffing. Stuffing, um, probably. probably gravy, a Mountain Dew. You see it? Okay, we'll call that Mountain Dew. All right, what's this? What's this lady saying? <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me. So much to do, so little time. And you're standing in one place. <laughs> there are times when I wish I had a third arm to keep up with all the you're cleaning. You're just standing in one place. This lady's been sniffing the fumes too long. Yeah, because or the look... crack everybody's talking about. <laughs> well, he's literally just standing in one place. So she, Mr. Mel, sent Jessica to the shrine to become a priestess. <laughs> but I doubt that spoiled brat takes her studies seriously. She hasn't had to work for anything her entire life. Why should she start now? <laughs> That's a good question. Master Mel doesn't know that, that his daughter's a total tomboy. Whenever he's around, she puts on her innocent little girl act. So... <laughs> there's a lot of chairs at that table. There is. And about Ramus can fit about three of them. And dude, that fountain is just going so fucking fast. Look at it. It's like somebody set set on normal mode. You mean turbo? Yes. Actually, I think it's set on uh, Ramus's <laughs> fucking heart. <laughs> Ramus's heartbeat. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. You gotta love it. <laughs> this is Mel's conference room. The master's door is open to all. Go on inside. Get out of my way. Mel, I got an idea for crack cocaine. Mel got some of that crack in there. <laughs> oh, no one is allowed past this point without Master Mel's er, permission, bro. But he he has an open door policy. <laughs> Not there though. Not there. Just the front door. Yep, just, little... just that door. Nope. Just that door. Well, you get gotta go into his office. Yeah, man, in here. I could go in here though. But you came out the same. That's all mm -hmm. the kitchen. That's Ramus' snack chamber. <laughs> should we go see Mel first, or should we go look around town a little bit more? Let's look around town a little bit more. Alright, we can go look around town Because once more. we talk to Mel, that's when the plot happens. Ooh, the plot thickens? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Dude, huh? they have one of the Althea the bananas. Yeah, she's holding her dick, man. Welcome to Arabia. A great city of freedom, straight, incredible well. Oh my god, his tent is rainbow colored. Make sure you're minding your own business here. Meridians are not like the nosy people. Okay, now, okay, are, are Meridians decent, or do they mug you, or do they not like nosy people? I don't know anymore. Meridians just sound like shit. I know, this place is terrible. I hate it. I'm gonna leave. Meridians give you cancer. Dross Jeweler isn't from Meridia, but he set up a shop here nonetheless. I don't think he's a very reputable guy. In fact, in all honesty, I think he's a crook. The next time someone has trouble with him, I think Master Mel will take care of it. Is Ramus going to be okay? I'm worried about him. He'll just treat the deal like, like a handful of tacos. 
Well, it's a good thing Luna pays attention like every, you know, 10 15 minutes. A large ship from Moravia signed a contract with the city of Vane to transport their magicians. They call on the wind spirit to move the boat and the water spirit to guide them. They've sailed for years using these wondrous means. Also, do you want to buy some of my help? What's a crack? Because I've been seeing these spirits in the physical form. Hi! You know, if you walk west to the edge of the town, you'll end up on Black Rose Street. A lot of magis and magicians live there. Isn't that where Nash said he was going, Alex? We should go check it out. See, she pays attention. Sometimes. I mean, at least she was right this time. There you go. Instead of, I wonder if Mel lives there. <laughs> she got to tilt her head and look up like, hmm. Does Mel live there? I forgot, bro. Who is this? In Moribia, humans and beastmen work side by side. This is the first place I've ever lived where I haven't been affected by prejudice or stereotypical thinking. Bruh. Well, clearly you haven't been to Detroit or Flint. Yep. And if this was a real governor, he would have already poisoned his people by now. <laughs> or embezzled a ton of money. Oh, wait, no, that was the mayor. Yeah, that was the mayor. Okay, can you tell me this? Why did that one house have two beds for three people, but this house has one person with two beds? Because some days you just need to switch beds. <laughs> one bed's not good enough Sometimes you other. feel like one bed, sometimes you don't. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you need to sleep with your body out in the middle. Makes no sense. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what you're what you're talking about there. Yeah, you're kind of having a Luna moment there. Huh? Kind of like, is there puppies? <laughs> Get out of the way! Oh, oh my god! Out of the fucking way! Piece of shit! You fucking destroy the world now. Oh, this place looks totally lame. Who wants a crack? <laughs> I like to describe Black Rose Street as a compact version of Bane's, of Bane's Magic Guild without the elitist attitude. At least not too much of it. Yeah, uh, yes. Not to mention the altitude. Heh <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Dude, this so place... Every, every character has to act bored. This place is like... A little slice of San Francisco in Moravia. Are we going gay vibe or elitist vibe? Elitist. Okay, totally. Like this dude. Welcome to the finest tool shop on Black Rose Street. You mean the only tool shop? Shh. From daily necessities to valuable items, you'll find an astonishing array of articles available here. Let's see what oh. they got. Looks like just items. Totally don't care. Thanks for nothing, you piece of shit. Remember that we have an exclusive on Starlight. You can't buy it anywhere else outside of vain. Dude, is this a pharaoh? Maybe. Like an Egyptian dude? My significant store is blessed a thousand times over by wonderful, wondrous presents. I have a selection of many fantastic and wonderful magical items for sale. My first item is the magic toothbrush. It scrubs your teeth while you sleep. At least I'm bright, not just white. I can tell you need, you want one, you need one! Can I get it, Alex? It sounds like it'd be kind of fun. No, are you really too lazy to clean your own teeth now? No brush for you. Well, I knew she'd say no. It'll be your fault when I contract gingivitis, Luna. <laughs> A shit talker, man. It's your fault if my teeth fall out. No, I don't think I'm so. I'm just gonna no. start gumming stuff. <laughs> Gum my fish. Man, 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 Dude, man, look man. at this purple. Look, is that the the fucking symbol of uh, truth or whatever from uh, Zelda? Probably. I don't remember. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck did that dude just say? I heard fascia. Yeah, baby. <laughs> look at this. Look at this fucker. 
He looks like Christian Slater or something. Most of the people who live on Black Rose Street learn to use magic in vain. Almost everyone you meet here has a degree from the Magic Guild, myself included. Dude, Wayne's back! <laughs> Where's his fucking S10 or whatever oh, it was? Oh it's God, Silverado! Yeah, it's Silverado. <laughs> We were chosen to come here because of our particular skills are suited to the world of the ground dwellers. And my Silverado. Dude, that guy is kind of an asshole. I can't understand what that one guy said! Yeah. There's a new fortune teller shop on the Black Rose Street. It's being run by a magician from Vane. They're all from Vane! Shut up. I heard that <laughs> she's very good at peering into the future and that she's, uh... Huh. Very hot. Are you in the girls? Alex, why don't we ask her about the dragons? Maybe she'll know something. Or maybe she'll be a complete cunt. As long as it's like, what? Don't worry about it, Luna. Nothing bad can happen by meeting her. I am a bad witch! I was pretty just way outside the top until I once again have a natural looking head of fake hair. A <laughs> natural looking head of fake, fake hair. Even though his sprite has hair. Shh. Calling shenanigans but on it's this. gray. It is gray. You have the dragon ring. Quark only gave that to a person who passed his trial of walking into his next room. <laughs> And that seems to be you! The ring is proof that you have the qualities of a Dragon Master. I heard that Dine wore it as well. He walked into the other room, too. Personally, I thought the Dragon Diamond was a lot more impressive. Even though it kind of smelled bad. Uh-oh. What's gonna go on here? And that's what happened! I still haven't determined if singing is the key! But I have a strong suspicion that it is! Nash, your friends have come. So have I! Oh, you mean they're here! <laughs> Balance, Luna, did you take a knock before entering? Her voice is way too high pitched for me to try to mimic. Not to mention, has no boobs whatsoever. Until she... well, later. Welcome, young ones. I see that you've come to have your... <laughs> Way too time. high. Lost items, difficult business decisions, what troubles happened? with your love life. These are but a few of the many services I can offer. So, don't be bashful. Serious? Let's see what your futures entail. Why does she have the kiss <laughs> makeup on half of her face? Well, hold on a moment. When I first played this game, her voice sounded exact to the character you see. Well, we really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were just trying to find Nash. Oh, really? From what I glimpse of your future, child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of your questions you have about yourselves are ones that I could answer. And you, Alex, you seek to become the greatest hero our world has ever known. You're too humble to be a Dragon Master. You're too bitchy to be nice. I You're like unwilling to choose power and glory over friends and family. This will be your undoing. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. Dog it's an food. insult to think I would waste my energy looking into the future of a rodent. Oh, oh, oh. I am not a cat. Oh wait, we still gotta go see Mel, don't we? Uh, yeah. That's about it. Uh oh man, here he is. Oh boy, here we go. Clearly needed to buy a bigger shirt. I am Melda Alcar, governor of Moribia. I've not seen the likes of you before. You better listen and listen well, <laughs> because I'm only gonna tell you this once. If you dare Come make trouble in me, city, <laughs> I'll top your heads off your twiggy little necks and mount them on me trophy wall! <laughs> this dude was supposed to be nice. Let's talk about ripping our heads off and shit. 
You'll wonder why this place is confused. The leader's confused! It <laughs> doesn't even know. <laughs> Whoa! You scared the heck out of me, old man. I thought my heart was gonna explode. Kind of like Ramses almost does. Oh god, don't talk about that. Ha oh. <laughs> ha! Don't be scared! I'm just fooling with ya! Now then, what brings you to see me? Alex is gonna become the next Dragon Master, Ma uh, Master Mel. So he came here to pay his respects to one of the four heroes. Scaring the daylights out of us like that is a little rude, though, don't you think? I see we have a future Dragon Master in our midst. Oh man, that's rich! I like a lad with ambition. There aren't enough of you around anymore. So what do we keep hearing? So Alex, let's find out how serious you are. He's super and I'm gonna serious. stare at you while we do this. Yeah, what? Have Alex, you. you're gonna be smushed like a grape. Then we'll have some wine! <laughs> oh, this guy's a dick. Yeah, Look at Luna doesn't even say anything. Her mind is just miles away at this point. Is Alex gonna die? But she's still thinking about the fucking um I was gonna say an animal, but you know what, never mind. Come on, Alex! Let's see what you got. Find an opening and hit me with your best shot. Take your best fucking shot. No, seriously, I'm not kidding. Take it. In a turn basis. Hit me with your best shot. I don't know that song. Don't go well. easy on me, lad, because I won't go easy on you. <laughs> Fire away! That was the next line you were looking oh, for. Oh, that's what it was? Yep. Hey, you guys, something's finally happening. Oh, God. Combat. I know, right? Um... Alright. You know what would really be happening if he hit me like that? Oh, you'd be dead. <laughs> And about ten minutes later, Luna might go like, ah! Like, realizing. Yeah. And she's just like, Alex is dead. looking at, at Nala, just so surprised that there's a cat flying. Luna didn't seem too dumb at first, but she kinda seems like just not all there. That I agree with you. Not quite, uh, Marl, not all there. Oh, no, but... that was, uh... That was a whole other level of stupid right there. <laughs> oh! Good work. Kicked his ass so bad he just disappeared into the light. And you only got a hundred experience for I it. Know, what the fuck, man? Now he's ahead of everybody. Not bad, Alex. Not bad at all. That's the best fight I've had in ages. Really? A yeah. Fifteen-year-old kid. Shut up, bitch. You might be the next <laughs> Dragon Master after all. Now, what you don't realize is Mel is a little senile, and this is like the fifth kid that's come <laughs> to his house saying that. <laughs> he just attacks random people, and be like, "You're making next Dragon Master after all," as they're like, "Dead." Don't worry, Galleon. Maybe Athena will love you this time. He probably just randomly goes and asks Galleon, like, so how is Althena doing? Like, <sighs> Galleon's, like, cutting his wrist. Of course he is. Alex met Quark, the White Dragon, and passed his other room trial. Really? Holy shit! I'm even more impressed than you than I was before, lad! I mean, he was just two miles down our road. Well, shit! All hail the next Dragon Master! <laughs> this dude's kind of a jackass, man. He's already drunk. <laughs> he is. He had eight beers before the fight. <laughs> uh. Oh, lad, I've got a daughter not much older than you. Only ten years. You want a fucker? Your daughter's name is Jessica, isn't it? I heard it from like 16 yeah. different people. And her mom died and you dote on her and she loves you even though she's a tomboy. Right, the girl's got <laughs> a heart of gold and I sold a match. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying she's adopted? No, Galleon. <laughs> Galleon's adopted. Nobody loves that fuck. What's that? <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. 
She's at Althena's shrine, learning to be a priestess. And she'll be a great one. Almost like she's a great addition to your party. So, Althena's shrine is actually that dancer house down the street. <laughs> and being a priestess is just slang term for it's dancer. It's learning how to take it in the pooper. <laughs> I didn't go that far, but... You should meet her sometime. I think she like you as much as I do. She might even heal you from the freak of danger several fucking times. But you're gonna have to grow up before I let you marry her, lad. Or start drinking lots of beer and becoming a thief and wearing a fucking speedo. <laughs> That's my other requirement. <laughs> I don't know, Alex. I think she'd be just as scary as her father. Yeah, uh, it's debatable. <laughs> All right, let's go. No. So you're talking about Alex not saying much. Luna hasn't said fucking anything. Well, she says more than Alex in like a half hour. That's fine. Alex hasn't said anything either. <laughs> I know, it fucking nulls the life of the party, man. Holy shit, I didn't realize I could go up here. Even though that is, like, one of the greatest songs in the game. Really? Dude, it's so good. Let's talk to this dude. No one is allowed through this passage by order of Master Mel. But we just walked through there. Where does it lead? Deep into the sewers beneath the city. It was built as an emergency escape route, but the sewers now hold the hazards of their own. It's good to know. Good to know. Are you new recruits? Why haven't you put on your armor yet? Move it, move it, move it. Wanna aim that baritone somewhere else? We're not soldiers. Whoops, sorry about that, kids. This is Master Mel's combat arena. Members of the Mermi Army come here to learn the, the art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. And how to high five each other. And how to grunt like men. Have volleyball challenge matches. Shut up, other. we hold those sacred. <laughs> and new recruits come here to discover just how much they have to learn. It's good to know. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks a lot. You beat Master Mel? That's rich. Mel would never really fight a child. He was just toying with you, kid. Just like Althena toyed with Galleon's heart. We all know that story. Galleon's a loser! But I'm still impressed you were able to hit him at all. Nice job. Aw, oh, man. Well, at least he's not as wimpy as we thought he was. I thought he was dying of a stroke. Wow! It's Jackie Chan. If I make it through training, I'll fulfill my lifelong dream. I'll finally be able to sneak into Jessica Al Kirk's room and, so and look through her silky things. These guys give me the creeps, Alex. Are you serious? Your goal is to look through a gr Master Mel's daughter's bedroom? Ooh, you know he gonna die. Yeah, I know. My sparring partner's been talking uh, about working for Jessica all day. Kind of like how Galleon used to talk about all day. <laughs> <laughs> and I keep slipping on all the drool or all the drool coming out of his mouth. It's not fair. Dude, he's trained to mop food. <laughs> Poor as hell. <laughs> that was that was dark. <laughs> I know, right? That's like a dark twist. Come on, Wimps. Doesn't everybody, anybody have the guts to challenge me? Like Galleon trying to ask Elfina <laughs> out? What about Alex here? Wait, aren't you the kid who fought Master Mel? Um, oh, oh, ouch, uh, ingrown toenail. Man, that stings. Maybe we could fight some other time. What's next, childbirth? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at this kid. What is this kid doing in here? I wanna fight too. Come here and let me punch you. Hiya! To go away, kid. You bother me. Uh, hold still. Wow. I don't see his parents around. Alex, just one quick swat to the head. Pretty please. Dude, Clyde. I don't think this soldier gig is for me, man. I'm sticking to living in my parents' basement. <laughs> <laughs> like Galleon did for years. Like Galleon did. Galleon lived there until he was 46. Uh. <laughs> uh. Well, maybe not will... No, I'm sorry. Althena will love me someday. <laughs> He's got a crudely made doll. He's just brushing her hair. <laughs> Crying <laughs> while he's laying in his bed. Get out of my way. I gotta beat the tar out of this guy. Like oh. Dine did winning Althena's heart. <laughs> 
Galleon, you are just a good punching bag. I hope he turns out not to be the villain. He does. He is not. Some people say Jessica is a tomboy, but she always has kind words for the guards. It's good to know. I would. I'm so glad I knew this. The only way to get through this door is with a battering ram or a sweet set of lockpicks. So it's closed. When Jessica was here, this was a dream job. And now I'm forced to ogle the maids all day. She can't get back from that cursed shrine soon enough. Dude, everybody in this town What's is a the... bunch of fucking lecherous. This door is locked tighter than the chest in Ramus's room. Or the refrigerator at night. <laughs> at Ramus's house. Dude, they chain that bitch up <laughs> and fucking dunk it into the river <laughs> to keep him from get, going after that. Oh god. Well, isn't it this cute? A boy and his monster. I'm not a monster, but I can bite like one. Look at that. He doesn't uh -huh. even care anymore. You fucker. No, it's alright. Alright. Everybody's making fun of Null, okay? That's true. Null's the only one talking, though. It's because Luna's just like, Look at that pretty white thing flying in front of me. <laughs> Oh god. She's not dumb. Not yet. She just doesn't have that much to say, okay? Neither is Alex. Alright, now we're gonna go do this. It'll be your fault when I contract gingivitis, Luna.